Chasing money is not the goal. <clears throat> the point of this slide uh, is, you know, I wrote down more is not a financial goal. Because by definition, you can never achieve it. What are goals? Goals are something that are supposed to be achievable, right? Well, you can't achieve more. There's no end to it. I think it's good to write down what do I want my life to look like when I make it or whatever how you want to say it. What do I want it to look like? Okay, how much does that life cost? And then we kind of come to the realization that, you know what, that life really costs $9,000 a month or 15 or six, depending on who you are and where you are in life and, and all that kind of thing. All right, now we have a goal. I need $9,000 a month after taxes to live the life I want to live. And when you go through this exercise and you realize that uh, most of the time, it's a much easier goal than more. And sometimes it will temper how far out you go in building your business because you only, you, now you know what you need. Does that make sense? This means yes. So figuring out what it costs, I think is the, the way to back into your financial goals and get them down to something that actually makes sense and then you, then you can realize, okay, if I need 9,000 a month or 12 or whatever, whatever that number is, how many paid for facilities do I need to achieve that? And you say, okay, well, I need three paid for facilities to achieve. It, you know, we're just using averages or whatever. You could use per unit if you want, I don't care. <clears throat> but I, I like paid for facilities because if I'm in two facilities, let's say, if, yeah, okay, if I'm in two facilities and they're debt free and I own 50% of them, that's one paid for facility, right? And y'all know how I do my deals. So if I need three paid for facilities, because you, your first thought when I said paid for is that's a long time in the future, right? I know you thought that. I saw you doing it. Paid for. How will we ever get there? I can get there in three years by buying two a year and using a 50-50 deal split with an investor, right? Now it starts looking easier, right? If you know what your number is, and then you can break it down into number of units, number of facilities or whatever, and, uh, and you, you know, I'm using the 50-50 thing, but you can do the same thing with the bank example. I mean, if you want to buy a facility and it costs $2 million and you ain't got $2 million in your bank account, you're in business with somebody whether it's the bank or whether it's other people in this room or other investors you have, you're in business with it. You're splitting the profit with somebody somehow, some way. And you can do the math to figure out how many do I need? And so I think if you break all that down, you can see it's really, really possible for me to get where I need to be. Now I'm not going for more. Now I go, I really need three paid for facilities. Okay. If I'm going with the bank and I'm going 30% down or whatever, then not to, you can just do the math. You with me? The, the point of this is to make this mountain seem more like a nice little hill than just going to happen in a matter of time and not something that's really, really hard because it's not really, really hard. There's a lot of money in these deals. And like I said, everything you need is in this room. Mm -hmm.